I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And we're, we're TNTRVing. We're here in Goshen, Indiana for the International Frog Rally. And we get to check out the all new 2024 Rockwood Mini Light 2515S. It's a brand new floor plan for Rockwood and we're anxious to show it to you. So come along. All right, so this unit specifically was a prototype for the 2515S. So I wanna take you around and share some of the changes that they're gonna be doing with this unit when it goes into actual production. So I always like to start off at the dock lights. Of course, you get this beautiful fiberglass front cap with this very bright light, automotive windshield, beautiful fiberglass. Got your diamond plate here to protect the front cap. Room for two lead acid batteries, newly designed, 30 pound propane tank covers, which is nice. You have your uh, nice frame that Lippert's providing that's powder coated. And look at this team. They have these uh, nice oh, place to, to hang your chain so they, they nice. stay off the ground. Of course, power tongue jack. And let's go around here. And this one, this one has a bike, a bike rack, rack on it. I, I suspect that would be an option if you so choose. Right, correct. So let's bring them around here and share so if you'd like to add additional uh solar you have this uh power port here to where you could add that solar here's one of those changes that uh they're going to be doing for the production model instead of these type our old school latches like we we have they're going to have slam latches so now all you do is you can just slam it and they'll close oh, and lock nice. so that's going to be that's a nice improvement change. as well yeah. but i want to show you this here Look at this large entry door for the front storage. And you can get this awesome front storage because of the drop frame. So look at all the room inside here. And of course you have your lights and then some tools and accessories. So let's continue along. And one of the nice things as well, team, is this giant awning. This thing, I'm gonna guess, is around 17 foot in length. So plenty of shade. The other thing I wanted to point out is you have dual entry doors. And one of the nice things they did is they added a full size handle. So you could grab a hold of this and walk in. A lot of other manufacturers will use just the flush mounted handle. For the second entry. For the second entry. So real quick, I'm just gonna open this to show them as well. On this front entry step as well, check this out team. You also have a gas assist shock. So this will help offset the weight of the stairs, making it a lot easier for you to raise them up. So let's close this up here because we have the air conditioning on. <laughs> You're doing the air conditioning the outside. Yes, we have power here. Uh, television, you can hook up your cable. This rail here is for your shelf that comes with it or your griddle. Above this, you can hang your television if you'd like. We have a fan, which we really like. Outdoor speakers, frameless windows. Right here is your furnace intake and your exhaust. So of course you have your Dexter torsion axles sitting on uh, your, well, you have your Goodyear endurance tires. And these are the same size as Bell. These are the 205-75R14. You have your never adjust brakes, nice aluminum wheels. And this also has uh, TST, the tire pressure monitoring system as well, team. And frameless windows, really nice. And here's your rear entry door. Also, I didn't point out up front, team, but this has the power stabilizers. Not like oh. ours are manual stabilizers, okay. but this has power stabilizers. There's a switch here for that. The front switch is right left of the uh, door, uh, baggage door, the baggage there. Uh, and they're the doing basement. the basement. They're doing away now with the outdoor shower. And then they have these uh, nice hookups here where you can plug in your uh, hose and use the hot and cold water right on the side. And actually, I kind of like it on this side, which is nice. And it's a nice small access door and still can utilize some water. So back here at the rear, of course, you have a nice frameless window. You have your, this has a rear kitchen, which I'm excited to share with you what that looks like. 
Here's your vent for your range right here. We'll close that up though. And then uh, here's your uh, water heater. Spare tire, of course. Also has a uh, hitch there that's a 300 pound, I believe, tongue weight on that. And that is correct, 300 pound tongue weight. Nice ladder with a 250 pound capacity. So should we go take a look up top? Do you want to? Why don't we? Okay. So as you can see up there, we've got a couple Maxer vent fans. There's your black and gray tank vents, uh, 15,000 BTU AC unit, your wine guard antenna, Air 360. And check this out. This actually has a one piece fiberglass roof on top here. This is a, uh, a, a prototype so they're experimenting with having this roof what do you think about that I'd absolutely love to have this on ours so coming back down nice and safe we didn't fall we're good <laughs> I want to show that there also are prepped for the Furion rear camera which is neat and if you come around this side you have your twist lock 30 amp power right here on the side down below and I'll grab the camera and share the underbelly here and here is a rear uh, drain you've got your fresh water tank back there drain as well there's what the Dexter torsion axles look like sealed underbelly and of course everything's uh, wrapped for uh, heat pads so in those colder temps you're gonna be okay because you just flip that switch and you'll have some heated tanks so here is the underside of the slide as well so you have your um rack and pinion slide nice easy to maintain and let's go back up all righty come along this way team look at this large storage another nice storage that they have for you in here wow. up high way up high yes it does and it's deep it you, put, you put a lot of stuff in there <laughs> some things in there for sure so by the way that rear uh tank that i showed you that drain that's what they call gray tank number two and it's also labeled right here also on this side it tells you fresh water tank drain which is there as well so coming coming along here you could see up top, they give you a slide cover as well, or a slide topper. topper. They give you a slide topper as well. <laughs> they give you two, nice. uh, there's two slides here and they both have the slide topper. Here's your fresh water tank fill right here. And then you also have your city water connection, your black tank flush, and your antifreeze inlet for when you're ready to, to winterize her. You have your cable and satellite as well. Down below, up here, you're gonna have, let me show you this. We have your gray uh, water tank and sewer drain right here as well. So the one on the right there is gonna be your black tank and the one on the left is gonna be your gray tank. So, and then your low, low point drains should be underneath here. I believe they're right about there. Can't exactly see so let's go back out <laughs> here's another neat thing tina a lot of manufacturers do not do this is a wardrobe slide and this is on a schwintech slide mechanism so this gives you a lot of extra space as well for your clothing <laughs> and then of course we all know side, i have a lot of that <laughs> on this side you have uh, the other entry. And one of the things I like too, Tina, the size of this entry compared to what we have in our 2205, this is a it's lot huge. larger. This we could like crawl larger. in there if we needed to. Yes, we could house extra guests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that essentially wraps up the outside. Tina, would you like to take us around on the inside? I would love to. Okay. But did you want to point out the build date on this or did we already? Well, we didn't point out the build date, but I will tell you this was July 24th of 23. And mind you, it's a this prototype. is a prototype. So a lot of updates. That's what I really like about Rockwood. 
they're constantly evolving and changing and upgrading and doing all these neat things. So let's go inside. Okie doke. So come on inside, let's check this out. But before you walk up those stairs, you guys see this really cool refrigerator, which is right here for a reason. This new refrigerator, Magic Chef, opens from this way, so you can grab stuff from the outside. But when you're inside, it opens this way. That's pretty slick. cool. And the freezer does the same thing. Opens this way, and opens this way. That's pretty cool. I like it. So come on in. So here's the We Are V panel. So and another film. neat thing, real quick, is this has a motion sensor. One of the things I like about this new panel is when you hit the light and you want to know if it's on, it turns blue. So we know already that the awning light was on, the step light was on, and of course we know that the interior lights are on. Your tanks, you no longer have to press a button individually and figure out if your fresh black or gray tanks are full or not. They just display, which is nice. And of course, if you have your smartphone, he could connect this to your smartphone and you could use all these functions from your phone. Extend the awning, your slide, water heaters, water pump, tank heaters, all that stuff, which is really slick. Up above here, you have your go power, your uh, solar control panel, and that's right there as well. So here we have the rear kitchen. So you've got this great cabinet space up top above your sink. And you have, this, I like this new sink. It's the nice, deep, big stainless sink as opposed to the split sink. Great faucet. You have a great view out your back. And you have your stove top here, which has the grippies, which holds it into place. I really like. So we've got that, as well as your oven. And you've got the fancy little lights for the oven here. There we go. It kind of lights up now. So we have um, your microwave up here, which is the cute little Magic Chef microwave. And you have this cabinet here down next to your oven, as well as the power station, which I really like this. What are these called? The power towers. So there you go. That's nice. This is standard and almost all the rapid sound. And you also can put your phone on top of there to charge, which is pretty cool. So, you also have these drawers down here. These are the only drawers that you have in your kitchen, but they're nice, deep, deep drawers, as well as this little cubby here for like your scrub brush or your sponges. You have your pantry over here, which is nice, deep space. And it also has space on the bottom, which is where your water heater would be on ours. Mm -hmm. So you get an extra space. This one, the water heater is down here. We just found that out. So the excess is there. What we really like about this new floor plan is the fact it gives you both the theater seating and the dinette, which that's the one thing I think we would really like is there's sometimes we really wanted the dinette. If we have people over playing cards or, or we want to do a puzzle or we might want to eat inside because it's pouring rain outside. <laughs> this gives you both, which is a great option. So up here you have some storage. You've got your TV also. There are um, outlets under here as well. So, and you have the storage up here. So this is a great space. One of the great features about having the dinette as well as this is it gives you extra sleeping. So this table does fold down and this folds into a bed. So for your guests or if you have your grandkids or your kids or what have you, you have the extra sleeping space. So this unit has the middle bathroom, which is really nice. So we will go in here. So you've got your toilet and your shower, which has the, sh the water miser or the shower miser. <laughs> I never, ever, ever get that right. <laughs> so it has a max air vent fan up top. But then, so here you have your ginormous linen closet, which you can put all kinds of linens as well as toiletries and that type of thing. Under here, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's just access to water lines and your plumbing. So in here you have space for even more toiletries and what have you, and you have access to your water pump. Up here you have your medicine cabinet. So you have even more space in here, which is crazy. Yep. So over here is your wardrobe slide. 
So you've got shelf space in here as well as hanging space in here. Ha! Ah! I need a storage. Oh my gosh, look at all the hanging space. That's amazing. Okay, so you've got your RV queen. So this is what, 60 by 74? That's correct, right. yes. So you've got more storage up top here. Another little wardrobe hanging thing here. As well as a drawer here. And you also have your TV. But then in this unit, you this is your other entrance exit, which is kind of cool. So when you're traveling and you're bringing your slides, you will have access to your bathroom this way. Just had to think that one through. The inverter is over there. And Tony, you want to tell them about the inverter? Yeah, what's really neat for 2024, here's your switch for your inverter right here. Turn that on. Green, that's on. Off is off. It now has, Tina, an 1800 watt inverter as opposed to ours is only a thousand watt. Yeah, that's so cool. guess what? When you're traveling underway and you want to run your Keurig coffee, you, you can do, do that off yeah, a battery you can't now. do that now. So that's pretty that's impressive. Cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Okay, so I think that wraps up this one. I kind of really like this with the middle bathroom because you really get a lot of space with it. You do. So. All right, so real quick, we wanted to point out that underneath the bed here, you have storage as well, along with these drawers. Just like Belle, which is nice. Well, there you have it, folks. That was the 2024 2515S Rockwood Mini Light. Yes, this is a prototype, a brand new floor plan for Rockwood, so they're testing it out. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining possibly, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to TNT RVing. And give us a big thumbs up and like, and we'll see you at the campground.